Get ready to fill your pants up with cringe if you're wearing pants. We're gonna be watching Jose's morning routine. He's got four different videos on, he's got more than four, but I've just picked four of his morning routine videos. If anyone has more than one morning routine video, they suck. I'm just saying, no offense, Jose. Can't say his full name because I am ferociously white and I'm not gonna risk that. So, Jose. The first one we're looking at is titled, Jose, again, not gonna say it. Daily routine life of a 24 year old CEO. One. I don't know why he threw the one in there. Uh, this is the daily routine of a 24 year old CEO. If you're not a CEO at 24, you're a, f you're a failure, seriously. Let's see what he's got. One of my favorite ideas that I've ever heard was the thought. Just saying, abs within the first five seconds. If, the, if, <laughs> if you don't have abs in your morning routine, you suck. The thought of doing today what others aren't willing to do so I can do tomorrow what they can't. My name is Jose Zaniga and this is a day into my life. One of my best wins in the morning is waking up at 5 a.m. In my opinion, it gives me a head start. He were, he were <laughs> How come you wake up in pristine condition, huh? Condition. I wake up and I piss down shit at the bed in the night. Every night. This guy wakes up, his hair's already done. Can I say this? I'm just saying anyway. No morning glory either. You're not waking up with a bone? It's biologically impossible, man. Start. Allows me to outwork my competition. Get more things done before it's even work hours. Throw on my essentials muscle tea and I'm out. Is this an ad for essentials or something? No, just, just throws on his essentials muscle tea. Just in case you didn't know he had muscles. His t-shirt is named after them. <laughs> oh, let's go back and watch that again. That shot. What's this? Dragon's Den or Shark Tank? What, wherever you're from. Why is he... <laughs> yeah, because everyone takes like a six meter step back from the elevator before it opens. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in the lift and just see the, see the guy waiting there like six meters back. I would, would he want a running start to get in? What's going on? I hate running and I hate morning workouts. I do both. This is a great- I, uh, that's, you don't have to. That's it, you just don't have to. I hate, <laughs> I don't like people that say, uh, you have to do what you hate doing, otherwise you're not gonna grow. I hate murdering people. What do you say to that, huh? I hate milk. I'm not gonna milk. By the way, I don't hate milk, that's just an example. I do hate prawns, but I'm not gonna prawn because that's not possible. There's a great way to callous the mind and start your day off with the wind. There's a great way to get my adrenaline pumping now that I'm awake, I'll hop in the shower. I prefer to use cold water. It's better than a cup of coffee. Obviously. It wakes you up instantly and it's actually good for your skin. Yeah, cold, cold exposure is good, right? It's great, everyone wants to do it. But if someone does cold exposure, like they have cold showers, they won't let you hear the end of it. Especially this guy. Especially. I was thinking for a second that he had like a mannequin set out with his clothing for the day on it. Like uh, people in the, you know, in the old days had their like suit of armor on like one of those stands ready for them to go into battle. He's got a pink muscle fit tee sat there ready to go. That's his, um, that's his armor. For them to be exact, each of them requiring a lot of time, attention, and care. Most would find just building one brand to be nearly impossible. The thought of having five sounds insane, but with good time management, I'm actually able to balance everything perfectly. Now it's time for lunch. Eating clean, this is something that I live by. I preach about it all the time. But when you get to his level, you only wear muscle fit t-shirts. <laughs> that's just that, that's like the uniform of these kinds of people, of 24 year old CEOs. And jazz music follows you around, hence the video wealth if you want to perform right you got to feed your body with the proper fuel you see guys your time it's money which means it's valuable instead i multitask so while i eat i like to do my tedious tasks like answering emails now it's time for my evening workout my brand image is everything so keeping my body by the way i also multitask but mine isn't as impressive as that i just brush my teeth as i shit pretty much in the mornings. By the way, you want a little life hack? You want a little life hack? What I was gonna say is if you don't want a morning routine, just sleep through the morning and wake up at midday. Uh, then, cause he's gotta do all this shit in the morning, but you wake up and you're ready to go at lunchtime. So this sucker has been working. If you wake up at 12, you don't have to work that bit, guys. That just makes sense. My 
my body in shape is crucial. If that means hitting the weight room six times a week, so be it. Being that I was a scrawny, lanky kid just a few years ago, these helped me pack on about 30 pounds of muscle. Now what that means for you is that whether you're overweight or scrawny yourself, you could do it too. There's no excuse. You hear that? You could do it too, FYI. The fucking like to view ratio on this is crazy, by the way. I don't think people like this. I'm here making jokes about the guy, but to be fair, the morning routine so far is actually, uh, it's like ridiculous, but at the same time, it's good stuff to do. You don't have to make a whole video on your routine being like, but sorry, there was a pube on my monitor. Um, so who's, who's really got their life together? I've just cut myself off because I got distracted by a pube and I can't even remember what I was talking about. This guy's already put an aftershave on at probably 7 a.m. That doesn't touch my skin to about 5 p.m. ish, if I'm lucky. <laughs> After the gym, another muscle fit t-shirt. How many muscle fit t-shirts does this guy go through, huh? You're keeping them in business. You're keeping that like design pattern in business. Jesus Christ. This is my time to unwind. This is my favorite part. I hop in the car and go for a long drive. I'm uh, sorry, that just doesn't happen. You just wanted to show the fact that you got a Lamborghini. No one unwinds by hopping in a Lamborghini. That's called stress. That's what that's called. After the gym, you put a muscle fit t-shirt on and you're in the Lamborghini. Is that just something that, that happens once you get a Lamborghini? Because I feel like, I mean, it's never gonna, you're never just gonna like unwind by going for a drive in a Corsa. Business is like a chess game. You always gotta be three moves ahead of your competition. So whether that's analyzing the market for new trends or a new business venture, going on these long drives allows me to think creatively and freely. This is, okay, this, you've lost me now. Going for a long drive in a Lamborghini is not putting you ahead of your competition. You're fucking around in a car. They, they're doing shit, probably. Me, I'm your competition. I'm filming a video right now. You're probably driving around a Lamborghini, which costs some money, by the way. You ever figure that one out? <laughs> Sucker. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, it's time to relax. For everybody, it could be different, whether it's hanging with friends or reading a good book. For me, it's a good cocktail. Meet up with some friends and innately call it a night. It is fucking sponsored by Essentials. Or did he start Essentials? Maybe this guy is the CEO of Essentials. In that case, can I judge him? I'm doing it. I'm sort of doing it right now. So it turns out I can't read. That was actually a full day routine. So I don't know where, what happened at what time, but he's got a uh, more specifically millionaire's morning routine. This is his morning. He's a, okay. So he's 25 year old CEO, but this time he's a millionaire. So since the last video we watched, he's got a million in the bank. <laughs> it's funny to me because this, the thumbnail suggests all he does in his morning routine is put clothes on. So it's a weird, weird thumbnail choice when you're trying to suggest you're doing a lot more than that. Also, this this whole video is only a minute long and it's an ad. The whole thing's an ad. That's that's beyond cheek, mate. That is beyond cheek because we know full well going into this, none of this is true because it's an ad. So it's not your routine, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Being a business owner, time is of the essence. So like many others, my morning routine has to be effective. <laughs> So time is of the essence, by the way, guys, and this is how he spends, you know, half an hour in the morning. Look at that view. Look at that view. That's what, that's what I call a waste of time. And easy. My day usually begins around five in the morning. Even though it's hard to get up sometimes, I do it because being in the field that- Damn, okay, he's double cheeked up as well. Does that come with being a millionaire CEO or is that new? <laughs> Actually cut that bit out. I don't even know why I said that. Cut that out. Okay, no, seriously, though, cut that out. Because um, I don't want to objectify this man. I do it because being in the field that I'm in, I have to wake up before my competitors. Now, first thing. Why is, this, why is this always a thing? It doesn't really matter if you wake up before your competitors. It's like you what? You'll gain an extra hour a day. When you're spending that extra hour looking out a window and shit, you're not getting that much further ahead. Now, first things first, I gotta hit the shower. The Funny enough, cold. a lot of times, this is where I come up with some of my best ideas. And a while back, one of my biggest problems was finding a grooming brand that provides men reliable. So this is, <laughs> this is where the ad comes in. He wakes up, gets in the shower, which is where he has his best ideas, which is probably where he had this idea for an ad. And he was looking for male grooming shit. Oh, that's a coincidence, because, uh... Reliable and useful product that would elevate... That's what he's promoting right here. Care ...to hair care. That's my entrepreneur mind went to work and... Entrepreneur mind? <laughs> that's when my entrepreneur one million... million dollar CEO mind kicked in. And I thought of this ad. Created heat grooming. Heat grooming is the answer to men who want to be the best versions of themselves. 
You don't put you don't put bare feet in loafers, surely not. He's putting bare feet in loafers. You can't trust a word this man says. And yet again, he's on the balcony looking out of the view. He must spend half his day looking out of the view, half his day getting blisters. I can't work out if this is another one of his brands. So he's done like an advert for his own brand. Is that what's happening? Okay, well, guess what? He's done another one. This, this time it's the perfect five minute morning routine. This one's a bit more recent, it's two years ago. I wonder if he's a billionaire yet. Is that most of you guys think that you got no time, but I'm telling you, you got time. And we're gonna do this with a 60 second system, see? I'm gonna put my stop. There you go, straight off the bat. He's rinsing you for money. Text me for daily advice. If you text that number, you're getting charged and he's making money off you. Right here, so you'll be able to see it the entire time. Let's go. We're gonna start in the most essential step. <laughs> Just puts the timer in the background out of focus so we can't see it the entire time, actually. The shower, the step that most guys skip saying that they don't got time, all right? So we got a stopwatch right here. Let's see how long it takes to do an actual shower. Let's go. Team, the first thing you need to cut down is your shower time. Most guys are spending 20 minutes in here. That is a waste of time and water. This is gonna force you to not waste time and not waste water. To do that, you just turn the shower on, you get soaked like you saw really quick. Once you're soaked, then you can clean yourself up. That includes shampoo, your face wash, and your body wash. This should take you about 30 to 40 seconds to do your entire body. Make sure you reach those raunch. 30 to 40 seconds for your entire body, but your butthole stinks. Your butthole stinks of shit if you're doing that. If you're doing that, your butthole stinks of shit. I spent half an hour down there. I've got a whole team. I've got a whole team that does it. It's like a fucking expedition. Raunchy, stinky areas, the problem areas. Make sure you really scrub those down and then turn the shower head back on. Rinse off. My guy, a minute 20. A minute 20. As soon as I step out the shower, I start my shaving process. I do this because my... Well, this is this is bullshit because he's he's starting the stopwatch whilst he's doing something and then pausing it until he gets to the next thing and then he starts it again. So it's not a five minute morning routine because you're skipping out all the middle time. So this is probably going to take him like half an hour. This is what I call being cheeky, okay? And I've just noticed that this is going to be another ad. So it looks like every time he needs to promote something, he, he makes up another morning routine. My pores are open, the hot water has kind of smoothened and softened my beard. And on top of that, since I've already washed my- Look, the fucking timer starts when the razor hits the neck. All the time in between then doesn't count, apparently. That's, a, that's not a good look for him either. My bad. My face, my skin is smooth so the blade will glide faster. I like to clean my cheek area and my neck area. The, the blade will glide faster. I think it's more about the blade uh, gliding smoother, not faster. It's not about speed. That's how it shaves. <laughs> Done. My neck area, that way my beard always looks sharp. And the good thing is that I'm using the six blade from the Dollar Shave Club, which has six blades. That are the mic cuts in, you've got the ad shots, and we're in an ad. He got, he got us. Not everyone shaves in the morning. This guy does for this morning routine, so he can promote this. See, with my razor from the Dollar Shave Club, I always have a sharp razor. And the thing is that a sharp razor is gonna make your whole process Faster. If it's dull, it's gonna- Half the video is him promoting the Dollar Shave Club. That's not a quick five minute morning routine. No one does an ad read, you know, halfway through their morning routine. That's a lot of time. Fresh out of the shower, I like to apply my body lotion, which I also mix it as a switch, a two in one plus a sunscreen. See, I like two in one sunscreens. This is a facial- Okay, so that video, I'll save you from watching the rest of it because it's boring, but he just keeps starting and stopping the timer. It's, it doesn't count. You can't just stop the timer whilst you set up for the next part of the routine and then start it again just for that small period of time. Of course, you're going to cut the time down. Of course, it's only going to be five minutes because you're skipping everything else. So really, he's a fraud. That's a half an hour morning routine. I mean, the other one was just a one minute long ad. The one before that was he was just driving around in a Lambo and shit, just flexing on us basically. And um, this one, <laughs> this one was filmed during uh, quarantine because this is his, uh, why I wake up at 4 a.m., my quarantine morning routine. None of his morning routines correlate, by the way. One of them, he's saying, this is why I wake up at 5 a.m. so I can be above the competition. Another one's saying, this is why I wake up at 7 a.m. so I can be above the competition. This time he's waking up at 4 a.m., he's really above the competition, and he's cooking with a uh, mask on. Why? I don't know, because he's in quarantine and it makes sense for the thumbnail, I guess. But uh, yeah, let's see what this is. This pandemic, it's gonna weed out the weak. <laughs> <laughs> the 
the pandemic that um, you know cost a lot of you guys probably a lot and uh, some people even lost family members. This guy is up at 4 a.m. topless running around saying the pandemic is gonna weed out the weak. Basically all the um, elderly and at-risk individuals, sorry, should be up at 4 a.m. running topless because that's, that's why you're getting weeded out. That's why you're getting weeded out because you're weak. <laughs> Just because you're quarantined, just because you got laid off, just because you're not going to school right now, it does not mean it, this should stop you or it, it should impede your goals from being the hardest worker in the room. I have actually been waking up earlier during this pandemic. It's about 4, 4.30. Just so I can wake up, so, just so I can work out twice a day and work more during the day. This is, he's also shouting really quietly. I've never heard anyone shout like that before. I am, I'm waking up at 4 a.m. so I can work out twice in the day and get more done in the day. You can work, you can also work out twice in a day and do a decent amount of work without having to get up at 4 a.m. That's a bit excessive. And um, <laughs> the only reason, by the way, that he is waking up at 4 a.m. is to tell people that he's waking up at 4 a.m. There's some people who have to wake up at 4 a.m. for work. They'll just get on with it. Those are the people that um, are respectful. And then you've got other people who, uh, the only reason they're waking up at 4 a.m. is so they can film it and talk. If he didn't film it for a morning routine, he wouldn't do it, I guarantee that. So this is my quarantine workout. So I start my mornings with about a mile run. You see, I hate cardio, I hate running. And I figured, what? Also, he's only running a mile. What is the point of getting up at 4 a.m.? If you're gonna do it just to get two workouts in and get more more work done, one of your workouts is only a mile run. For reference, that's like, I don't know, eight minutes if you're a good runner. You don't need to be up at 4 a.m. for that. I figured, what better way to build on what I suck at during than now? Hey, yo, I'm, 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 I'm at home. I should work on my weaknesses. So, I stay here on this strip and do about one mile. And then you hear that? Just hear this. You hear that? What? We're getting up before everybody else. That peace and quiet. It's, there's no peace and quiet. You're in a fucking wind tunnel. All I can hear is wind. It's like there's a hurricane ripping through. Also, all, <laughs> you're fucking heavy breathing as well. That's making up for everyone else being asleep. You're making enough noise for everyone. Why is he breathing so much through his mouth? I think he's faking that because when, when you're running, you don't actually do that. I'm not a great runner, but if you run a lot, you'll get to a point where you're running a mile and you're just breathing normally. You're not going <sighs> and not through the mouth either. That's bad for you. So that's how I can tell this guy is just doing this for the video because Otherwise, he would just be going. You know, and so on and so forth. That emptiness, that's grind time. That's what you use to work hard. That's your motivation to know that right now during quarantine, this is when people are giving up. This is when people are stuck at home and sleeping until 10. This is when people are dying, but you're out running at 4 a.m. 1.6 miles, so you can put it on YouTube. Just, this is grind time, all right? I don't want you to be most people. Just finish a 6.30 mile, six minute, 30 mile. Not for me, it sucks because, yo, I don't run. My goal though is to probably try to get this under six and try to do sub. That's why I don't get, okay, so he's saying he doesn't run, and yet this is his routine getting up at 4 a.m. so he can get two workouts in. Do you run or do you not run then? Who's with me, huh? This guy's contradictory, huh? Who's with me, huh? Huh? It's all for it's all for the cameras, I think. It's all for the cameras. Also, what's this, huh? If your routine's so good, why is there a trash bag outside your house, huh? I do sub six miles by the end of this quarantine. So now, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna do 100 push-ups declined. If you guys follow me on YouTube, you know I challenged myself to do 300 push-ups every single day. 100 in the morning, 100 during lunch, 100 at night, and see how that transforms my chest. Which, by the way, I've been doing for about 18 days now. 
I'm wrapping these out like. Imagine you all just coming down to get some water in the night. <laughs> He's just fucking there. <laughs> like that. <laughs> you walk in to get some water. He's like, you know you're gonna get weeded out because you're fucking weak. <laughs> this is why you fucking, this is fucking grind time. Quarantine is grind time. His pregnant wife is just <laughs> trying, to, trying to get some uh, hydration. He's out like crazy. However, these 100 push-ups after a mile jog, they kind of suck. Damn, I need to stop screaming. I'm gonna wake up everybody. But that's, that's the energy you need during this quarantine. Don't let anybody put you down, all right? Everybody, just catch your breath before you speak. It's making me out of breath hearing this. Just catch your breath before you film, please. He's having a hard time right now. Everybody has an obstacle right now. So if you stick to a solid routine, something that's gonna better yourself every day, you're gonna feel more motivated. You're gonna feel more confident. And hopefully when this crap is over, you're gonna be in a better state than when you went into it. He's still out of breath. I feel like he's faking it. He's had time now to pick up the camera, put it in a different position, walk out of the room, walk back into the room. I don't think he would still be out of breath. So right now, it's about 5.11. I just got a whole workout in. Now I'm gonna hop in the shower. When you get in the shower, you wanna have everything you need, all your essentials, in one spot. Let me give you an example. I have my face wash in here, my favorite body wash, my manscaping trimmer, my favorite facial scrubbing tool. That way, when I'm in here, in that sub five minutes, I can do all. Okay, that's what everyone does. <laughs> everyone has their stuff in a corner or whatever of the shower. That's not advice, is it? <laughs> that's just what we do. You just got shampoo and body wash and shit just in one place. What you think? People just have, you know, things in different corners of the shower. How does he think everyone else functions? He thinks he'd come up with some like a uh, new tactic to just ramp up the morning routine, make it the most efficient. Beforehand, his like shampoo was in the kitchen, <laughs> shit like that. And then you thought, what if I put all this shit in the shower and then I could just be done in like five minutes and then I don't have to go in the garage to get my Manscaped trimmer. By the way, this is a Manscaped ad. I can do all of my grooming and hygienic needs that I need to do even while in quarantine to take care of myself. Because when you take care of yourself, think of yourself like a car, right? If you wash it and polish it all the time, it's just a sign that you actually love that car and that you value it. Think of yourself like a Ferrari. You should be polishing and washing yourself every day with the best grooming techniques that you know so you look good even when you're quarantined up. Also, if I'm whispering, my wife and daughter are still sleeping because they're not psychos like I am, and they wake up a little later. The point is <laughs> what do you mean? I'm sorry if you you whispered for one section the whole time you've been shouting. You don't care if you wake them up. Oh, I'm sorry if I've been whispering. My bitch wife and daughter aren't. They're not fucking psychos like me. They don't get up at 4 a.m. They're fucking weak. Quarantine will weed these fuckers out. It'll just be me left standing in the corner of the shower with all of my shampoo and shit because that's where you should keep all your stuff. The point is, with showers, you want to be efficient. You want to be in and out as quick as possible. The longer you're in here, the more the water can damage your skin. Most dermatologists you're, recommend that you You're in there filming a full video. I just spat all over my laptop. This guy is better than me. I just spat all over my laptop. You're not in and out. You're filming a whole video. You're, you're basically having a go at me whilst you're showering right now. Shouldn't be more than five minutes. Here's another self-care hack that you should do every morning. I do this every day that I'm stuck at home. <laughs> he's still out of breath. He's, he's fucking lying now. He's definitely lying. If you guys, here's something that I've learned in life. You've got to start thinking that everyone is always lying. When someone tells you like a, a crazy story, you've just got to assume, you can say, oh wow, that's, that's crazy. In the back of your mind, you've got to assume they're lying. Everyone lies, okay? Do not give anyone the benefit of the doubt. This guy, you might have thought, okay, yeah, fine. He's out of breath before the shower. He's just worked out. He shouldn't have been out of breath then. He was putting it on then and he's putting it on now. <laughs> Since the workout, he has 
taken the camera, put it in the bathroom, left the bathroom, come back into the bathroom and said, you know, yapped on a bit. Next thing, he starts recording, puts the camera into the shower, gets out of the shower, gets back into the shower. And now he's yapping on at the, sh at the camera for ages. Showers for at least 10 minutes. He was recording while showering at least 10 minutes out the shower and the man's still out of breath, apparently. Apply cologne. This is similar to a shower step that I do. You do not, I, I do not want to let myself go because these habits and routine. Because that's not a hack either. That's not a routine hack, putting on cologne. That's just a thing. Are important to build that long-term discipline that is great for everything in life. So I still take care of myself to the point that I even apply my favorite cologne every morning, even though I'm stuck at home because, you know what, it makes me feel confident. It makes me feel good and, yo, wifey appreciates it. So yes, I'm... Wifey does not appreciate you shouting about your cologne at 5 a.m. in the morning, by the way. <laughs> wifey appreciates it. You've, you've just slagged her off. You've just slagged her off of being in bed. Still gonna get dressed, and that's because it puts me in work mode. It, it, it's a mindset shift that occurs when you put on clothes that make you feel good. If I stay in my sleeping clothes, guess what's gonna happen? My, my body's gonna feel lethargic. I'm gonna feel like I just wanna sleep all day. But as soon as I'm done showering, I shift as if I'm gonna head out the door to go to the office. That way I stay in that mentality of working. Okay, now I'm gonna start cooking my breakfast. This is great time to listen to an audiobook, and this is what I do. This peace and quiet ad. Great time to implement an audible ad. Good idea. But in the thumbnail, you were cooking topless with a mask on. Where's that gone, huh? Where's that footage? Please find me the link and send it to me. Which basically means that now that I've stopped lifting because they freaking closed the gyms, I started losing my muscle mass. And I wasn't going to let that happen to myself. What did I do? I bumped up my calories. My breakfast is one of my strongest meals of the day. I eat about 1,200 calories every day, usually consisting of which- 1,200 every day is not a lot of calories, by the way. I think he's fucked that up. He's saying he's a hard gainer and he's losing muscle. If you're eating 1,200 calories a day, you're going into starvation, mate. I think he means 1,200 calories just in breakfast. Otherwise, that really makes no sense. Which I'm gonna show you six eggs, a whole bagel, two bacon strips, one actual bacon, one turkey bacon, orange juice, crackers, banana, and coffee. See, boy? Yeah, he means uh, 1,200 during breakfast. Look at that. Your morning routine's making your brain not work so good, but my brain is more gooder, and it's on fire right now. If you want to keep your mask during this quarantine, it's important that you start eating healthy and start eating more, especially if you're a hard gainer, to keep as much as you can. <laughs> you didn't have to include the gulp sound. That's horrible. That is so horrible. And that's it, boys. Now that I'm full, now that I'm few, I want to show you something real quick. You see that? <laughs> now that I'm full and I've done all this stuff, I want to show you something. You're still fucking asleep. It's 6 a.m. and I'm up, bitch. 6 a.m. and I've just had 1,200 calories. I was going to show you mine, but it's kind of... I fucked up my phone a bit. That would actually... um. That would be embarrassing. At six o'clock. This is why I wake up early. I am now done eating. And to be fair, I'm a little behind schedule because... You didn't need to take a sip and gulp during that, like halfway through that. Well, it's like me recording this video right now, about to say so something about this guy. I just take a drink halfway through just to prove that he's what well, he's just proving that he is he is drinking he's he is dr eating breakfast or something i don't know i don't know what the point of that was but uh the moral is it's fucking 6 a.m and he's fucking up and his stupid wife and kid are in bed and they get weeded out by the pandemic and he's not because i've been bringing you guys along and you know recording every scene but waking up this early i have now put in a full workout i have showered i have taken care of myself i have dressed myself i have eaten well, I have consumed information and just jump-started my brain to start operating, it's still six. Most of you will probably, by the time you watch this, you'll start waking up around, what, nine, 10? I'll be f and Fuck you. Fuck him, he's kind of right, I do get up around nine. But, why do you have to come at me for that? This whole thing doesn't make sense anyway, because we're probably getting the same amount of sleep. So, we're spending the same amount of time 
doing this shit at the same amount of time sleeping. He gets up at five. He's probably asleep by 6 p.m. Whereas if you get up a little later, you go to bed a little later, you work a little later. So it's the whole morning routine. It's good like to get into a routine. Like if you struggle to get shit done, then get it all done out of the way early. It's probably a good move, but uh, it doesn't mean you're getting more done if you get up earlier. If you still have discipline and you're getting up later, you'll still get your shit done, but you won't keep yapping on about how you got up at 4 a.m. I'll be four hours ahead of schedule. Those are four hours that I'm gonna use right now to go work, which I'm gonna take you with me right now. But I just wanna, I wanna highlight that to you, right? You should never stop trying to be the hardest working guy in a room. Even if there's nobody in the room, just know in your head, you are still the hardest working guy. Hey, fuck you, Gobby. I'm still harder working than you, bitch. You need to start your own YouTube channel, sucker. Seriously. Pay the bills. And if somebody outworks you, that is your problem. It is not everything else. It is not your situation or how you were brought up or your skin tone color. It's none of that. It is your own effort that's stopping you from accomplishing anything that you want. So yes, this, this is a shared desk, so don't mind the books. That's not for me. Usually I sit here and work every day. This is when I start thinking creatively, so whether it's a video. If you're so successful, how come my desk is more bigger? My desk is more bigger. And that determines the, the success. I feel like I haven't said a single word in that sentence because every time a word comes out, it doesn't actually come out properly. I don't know what I'm saying. My desk is more bigger, which means I'm more successful. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. There's a video topics that I'm gonna do, answering emails, and more importantly, since it's Friday, what we usually do is we have team meetings every Friday with every department for every company. Since all of them are working from home and some are even in other states, I like to sit with all of them through a Skype call for at least 30 minutes for the influencer marketing team, content creation, customer service, warehouse and logistic team, and the design team. We kind of sit down with each individual one for about 30 minutes each a slot and just kind of go and give everybody tasks to do for the following week from home. That way we can keep the company running and again, be as efficient and as effective as possible. We should not let this cripple us both on a personal level and on a business level if you own your own business. But more importantly- Okay, so that was, uh, that's a compilation of his uh, routines. Three morning routines and one day routine. As much as this video is joking around why these morning routine videos are cringe, fair enough to the guy. He's a CEO millionaire, very successful. He's not actually harming anyone with the routines, but they're just funny to me and to you probably. It feels like these uh, 4 a.m. morning routine things that it's, it's all a facade. That's why they can be cringy because you can see through it. Like the guy is pretending to be out of breath half an hour after workout, so you think he's working hard. <laughs> but, but then again, he actually is working hard. He is very successful. And so um, props to him, genuinely props to him. By the way, this guy, he go, so his name is Jose. Again, not gonna say his surname. Um, he goes under teaching men's fashion on YouTube. Now, the, his uh, whole account is based on like improving your appearance, your life routine, blah, blah, blah. And there are some funny videos on here. So if you wanna see me cover some of this, this guy's content, let me know. For instance, we've got um, how to have a deeper voice naturally here. I'm not sure if that's possible, but maybe, maybe you can save us. And th my personal favorite, seven signs you're just lazy, not depressed. Okay, so <laughs> if you wanna watch me watch that, let me know and we'll, uh, we'll make that happen. But thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Share this to your family, WhatsApp, group chat. And I'll see you in the next video.